What is up? What is up? How is everybody going? OMG, it is midweek motivation time. If you're joining me here live, ah, thank you so much to everybody who's dropping on the line live. You are here, you know the drill, with Kylie Pax, Australia's Emotional Eating Coach, and I am here to empower you to take control of your relationship with food, create that body and a life that you love more than chocolate because you get to do it all deliciously on your terms. Thank you so much. And if you're joining me here live, Kathleen's in the house. It's so great to see you here. Thank you, honey. If you're joining me here live, throw me some likes and some love hearts and let me know that you're here. Alice is here. Christine, Christine, everybody's in the house today. It's so great to see you all. Thank you so much to everybody who's joining me live and to the gorgeous, gorgeous replay watchers. Mm, sending you delicious chocolate coated amounts of love. Because today we are talking about, thank you so much for the love. It's still very dreary here in my little corner of the world. So I really, really appreciate the likes and the loves and the love hearts because let me tell you something, I need it here. I am waiting for someone to kick in. Can someone please send me some heat? If you've got my heat, please give it up. Give it up, please share it with me. Sharing is caring. Thank you so much. Thank you, Dana's here. Oh, it's so awesome to see you. Alice is in the house. It's awesome to see you girls. Thank you so, so much. Because today I was thinking about this. Is this this is the topic of the day. Why we weasel around things. We create the drama, the stress, the, you know, we create everything and make it so much harder than it needs to be. And this has been the theme for a while now, the way we make it so much more difficult than it ever needs to be. And today I'm thinking, man, the fear, the manipulation, the way we weasel our way around things, really crafty to try and get things exactly the way we want it. We look at our bodies, we look at any other thing in our life, but you know, if we bring it back to our bodies, we're like, mm, I want to change this, I want to change that. And instead of just going with things naturally and working out a, a way that would, you know, sit well with you, work with you, make things comfortable for you. Thank you so much, Julia. Send me some heat from Spain. Yes, send me some heat, please. Can you send an express, express package, please? <laughs> send it to me because seriously, like we are so over it here in Australia. So over it. It's supposed to be like spring. And in fact, at this time of year, it should be really warm. Not just kind of okay, but like actually heading towards hot. And uh, no, no, it is it, the, you know, I don't know what's going on. Mother Nature thinks it's still the middle of winter. We've got storms and thunder and lightning and rain. It's, and it's cold. It's cold. I'll live with the storms and the thunder and the lightning and the rain, but I want heat. Make it hot. <laughs> so, yeah, thank you. Mm, BJ's in the house. Sending you love, honey. It's so great to see you here. So this is the topic today. We are talking about the way we are so crafty and we weasel our way around things. We've got to get exactly how we want it. And we will go to any extreme. We write the list. We do the list. We do everything that we want to do. And then when we think that it's not going to work out, I'm not going to lose weight by a certain amount of time, or I've got this function or this thing, we start getting really desperate at that stage. So here's how it rolls out. You know this, right? Raise me an emoji hand if you've ever lived through this. Somebody invites you to something or you have a big event coming up. Big event. A work function. A wedding. Not necessarily yours, right? Not necessarily. Something that you feel like you have to be there and look amazing for. A holiday. A holiday, right? In Spain. A holiday. And all of a sudden, you go into, you launch from, yeah, I would kind of like to take care of myself and eat better into full-blown panic mode. OMG, I'm going to be, you know, on, on show at XYZ event. And now we pull out all the stops. We get desperate. We start kicking into gear with the heavy duty dieting, the cleansers, the detoxes, the juice fast. Ugh. Raise me an emoji hand if you've ever done a juice fast. Oh my. Please, I need a green tea to recover from the juice fast, yeah, that I've I've endured in my life. And juice fast is something you endure. Oh, you know, I could tell you something right now. Get this. Um, yeah, I won't, I won't tell you how long I actually did a juice fast for, but it was a really, 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 really long amount of time. No human being should live on juice for that amount of time. And it was just one of about up there with the dumbest things that I've ever done in my life, but I was desperate. I was desperate to lose weight. So yeah, thank you so much, Alice. Oh God, yeah, that's me. She says, Bobby Lee's in the house. It's so great to have you here. So this is how we roll out. We start to freak ourselves out and get a little cray cray. And at that point, we get so scared and so fearful of we don't actually know what. We never stop to think of what. We think the world is going to collapse. It's going to stop turning on its axis if we don't lose 15 kilos super, super fast. So we will do whatever it takes to make it happen. And we go insane. We, we suddenly are adopting the crazy diets and the plans. If you're joining us live, this is what we're talking about. And I titled this today, I just want to have abs. 
absolutely more chocolate. I just want to chill and relax a little bit and stop making it so darn hard. We make it so hard for ourselves and we really torture ourselves and put ourselves into a state of panic, panic right? You're no longer looking forward to the event and excited for the function that you have to attend or what's the worst is the holiday. You've got a holiday to go on, something you should be so excited about, so looking forward to. Cannot wait for this fabulous holiday, but you're not excited. No, you're in panic mode. Got to lose this weight. Got to lose this weight. Cannot enjoy the holiday because I'm trying to lose weight before I go on holiday and then when you realize it's too late now to lose the 15 kilos you wanted to lose before your holiday that starts in 24 hours now you think well it doesn't matter now it doesn't matter right I'll just eat my way through my holiday in wherever and I'll go on a heavy duty diet when I get back yes thank you so much Lisa's in the house how are you going honey so this is it Bex in the house thank you so much Julia yes yes been there I know haven't we all haven't we all because when we put our Ourselves into that state of fear and panic it never ends well and so here's what I wanted to sort of talk to you a little bit about today thank you so much if you're liking this and if this is resonating with you please do go ahead and share it out because as you know you hear me say all the time my empowerment message it's up there behind me this is how we roll every time we give ourselves permission to lift ourselves up higher and say I don't need to be this way anymore I don't need to put up with this anymore I don't need to live in this state of torture anymore you give somebody else permission to do the same thing so here when we're talking about the kind of results that we want to get because we still want to get results I'm not saying sit back and just don't worry about it and stay living in a body that you're not comfortable in no 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 we want to be comfortable in our our body that is part of the enjoyment of life we're not supposed to slug our way through life feeling you know okay and a happy moment here there if I look back on the calendar of my you know life well there was this there was that I guess that was kind of enjoyable but I hated myself the whole time because I was in a body that I wasn't comfortable in no that is not what is supposed to be about we're supposed to enjoy every part of our life every part even the stage where your body is not yet at the point where you would like it to be. Doesn't mean you're supposed to stay miserable. Doesn't mean you're supposed to hate and torture your way to, you know, whatever goal it is that you've set for yourself. You can, in the meantime, is what I was going to say before I got, before the, the um, it, re, it disconnected. So you can be happy in the meantime. You can be happy during the process. It doesn't have to be an either or. It's not an either or situation. It's not like if I'm skinny, I can give myself permission to be happy and if I'm not in the body that I want, bum bow, I have to live in misery city. No, that is not how it has to be. There is absolutely, absolutely no reason, if you don't know why I'm saying it like that, check out the title of, of, the life, of the live stream. There's absolutely no reason why you can't be happy now and enjoy your way in your body on the way to where you're going now. We make it so miserable for ourselves and tell ourselves all these horror stories about how we are so unacceptable and hideous and vile exactly as we are. It's just not true. It's just not true. You hear me say, I say it all the time. Yes, and thank you so much for the love. It is true that you don't have to stay in a body that you're not comfortable in, okay? I'm all about, you know, I have no problem with weight loss. I've said this before that I had um, a woman on Instagram who really launched quite um, a fierce attack on me because she was very big in the body love movement. And she sort of launched at me and said, Kylie, you cannot be talking to people about weight loss and body love in the same sentence. And I'm like, I just, I couldn't understand why. I thought, why? Why can we not love our body exactly as it is, but it doesn't mean you have to stay in it as it is. It doesn't mean you have to stay 20 kilos overweight just to prove that you love your body. You can and should love your body on the way, on the way to getting it to wherever it is that you want to be, a stage that is comfortable for you. It's not about looking like a Victoria's Secret model. They look like how they look. You look like how you look. It's supposed to be that way. But what it is not supposed to be about is you shuffling through life, feeling dejected and not acceptable because you can't measure up to some standards that the media or whoever tells you, right? So you set the standards. The only person who sets the 
standards is mm, you. You hear me say it every week, every day. The only person who has the power to change your life is you. The only person who sets the standards is you. The only person who decides if your body is hideous, vile, or something else is you. You, which means that you now have the power. When you give your power away and you look at pictures, and we talked about this yesterday, you look at the fitspos and, the, and everything else and you decide, you decide, nobody else has decided, only you, that they look amazing and you therefore do not. And let me tell you something, come on, can we just be real and revisit this topic from yesterday just for a second? Yes, thank you so much. Thank you so much, Bobby Lee. Oh, Lisa, thank you, thank you. Yeah, and Dana, thank you so much for your comments and your love. Because can we just, like I say, can we revisit this from yesterday? I don't have an opinion either way about whether you look at the Fitzboil accounts. Doesn't matter to me. It makes no difference to me in my life what you do, right? But what I want to say to you is, can we please just have a reality check? It is not their natural photos that they're putting up there on Instagram or wherever it is, right? And really, and why should they? It's an opportunity for them to make themselves look amazing. And why wouldn't you do that, right? That is perfectly fine. I love me some good Photoshop, right? No problem there with the face tune and whatever the apps are, right? Love them. They are fabulous, right? They rock my world. But we just have to be a little smart, savvy and switched on, as you hear me say, to realize that when you're sitting there at night, you've come home from a day at work, you are freaking exhausted and you've collapsed on the lounge in front of the TV with your, you know, microwave dinner and you're eating the nachos and you're sitting there in your track pants, in your sweatpants and your Ugg boots and, you know, whatever, no makeup, all washed off, hair tied up in a messy bun, and then you're looking at the Fitzbos for Fitspiration, that's fine, but be aware, there is a vast, a cavern of difference now between how their photo looks, all glam, zing, like this, and how you look, sitting there in reality in your sweatpants and your Ugg boots with your nachos. They are universes apart. They're not bad or wrong, but don't compare. That is not a fair comparison. How is that fair? You're looking at something that's completely glammed up, which is gorgeous. I love to look at that stuff. It's very pretty, but it's not fair to compare it to you in, in your current reality because if you saw them in their current reality, they look exactly the same. We all look the same. We all look the same. There's nobody getting around here like that. It looks like a Photoshop naturally. That's just how they roll out of bed in the morning. I wish. I wish. And let me tell you something. I want to be in talks with Apple about creating some kind of app that when you wake up in the morning, you just like be ding and then you are instantly photoshopped. Oh, that's fabulous. I would love me some of that. But in the meantime, this is the deal. We live with what we live with and what you have is perfectly okay. What I have is perfectly okay. What somebody else has is perfectly okay. Yes, thank you so much. If you're liking this and getting value, please do go ahead and share because as you hear me say, if you're just dropping on live now, we're talking about the fact that we make it so spooky and scary for ourselves and that as we empower ourselves and set ourselves free, we give somebody else permission to do the same. So I, I have these notifications that pop up every time I do a live stream and now I need some green tea to recover from my rant. But I really wanted to just encourage you today, really, that if you're feeling at a point where you know, you're focusing on your what you perceive as your flaws, your limitations, more than what you, in fact, maybe you just don't even see the parts that are fantastic and amazing, right? Thank you so, so much because we all have them, but we zone in and focus in on the parts that we don't like. And if you're struggling to get past that, there's always something you can do. As you know, Ditch the Diet Online Bootcamp with Private Coaching is only just started. We started last week. There is still one position left. If you want to join us, you can absolutely do that. KyliePax.com forward slash bootcamp private coaching. I'll throw the link up here as well. So there is still time and there are always ways to achieve what you want to achieve. We just don't have to torture and hate and put ourselves into a cycle of fear and freak out sessions to be able to do it, to be able to do it. And I did say yesterday, don't let your perceived fears, your, your perceived fears, well, they are perceived fears. It's not even real, but don't let your perceived flaws define, limit or distract you from the beautiful person that you are. There is so much inside of you and outside of you, so much in within and on the external that is rocking and smoking and it's only your perception that tells you otherwise. So I really want you to get this today. I really do. Focus on what it is that you want to feel, 
start to generate those feelings within you and you know this saying, you know the famous saying, when you change the way you look at things, the things you look at change and all of a sudden, the parts of your body that you suddenly felt, that you used to feel like were just vile and you could not stand one minute longer, you know, you're considering the liposuction and the lap band surgery because you just got to uh, make the change now at whatever cost. When you change the way you look at things, the things you look at change. All of a sudden, those parts of you that were just too hideous to bear, they're just a part of you. And it's only your perception that tells you whether they're beautiful, ugly, or otherwise. You get to decide. Nobody else has that say in your life. Nobody. So please do remember, if this is something that's resonated with you now today, thank you, Sarah's here. Thank you, James, Dina. Thank you so much to everybody who has joined me live. If you're just joining now, please do go back and watch the replay because we are talking about the way we torture and freak ourselves out torture and freak right with the panic sessions and the the opinions of our body nobody has and if somebody else has an opinion we think let me tell you something we think we walk down the street and every other human being on the planet is stopping and giving some kind of opinion on us like ticking you know do they pass the list or whatever nobody cares about you is what i was going to say nobody cares about you how you look the size of your thighs this you know what your booty is like nobody cares we think when we walk into a shop, everybody's stopping and like whew, gossiping and talking about us and our body. Nobody's looking, nobody's staring, nobody cares. They're all too busy thinking that we think that way about them. So just let it go. Let it go. The only person's opinion that matters is yours. The only person who, you know, feels or thinks any way about your body is you, which means you have the power and you always have. You've always had the power. We've got to stop just giving it away to other people and believing that their opinions and their thoughts that they might possibly be having are more powerful than the way you feel about yourself. Mm -mm -mm. Not at all. Not for a second. To think otherwise, it's just an illusion. <laughs> I want to thank you so much. Oh, Mel's here. It's so great to have you all here today. So thank you very, very much to everybody who's joined me live. And I really do encourage you to go back, watch from the start, because we covered some really great stuff today. And as I say, please do remember kyliepacks.com forward slash bootcamp private coaching. If this has resonated with you, if you've loved this today, if this has helped you in any way, please do go ahead and like and share the empowerment message because you hear me say all the time, when you set yourself free, you give someone else permission to do the same. And step by step, person by person, we can and will change the world. I am sending you huge amounts of love. Thank you very, very much. Thank you so much for the love hearts. I love you girls so, so much. Thank you to everybody who's been here. Please do remember, as I skip on out of here today, because I'll be back tomorrow, back tomorrow with some more fire, some more tips, hot tips coming your way. But do remember, because this is true, you hear me say it every day. Do I say it for something to do, something to fill up airspace? No, I say it because it's true. The only person who has the power to change your life is you. And the very best, most delicious part about that is you really do have. When you believe it and you trust and look and change the way you look at things and the things you look at change, then you have what it takes. Sending you love. Thank you so much, everybody. Love you so much.